buns. This is the end of the day. It's time to go home. Be a part of the get along gang and get on, get on, get on, and go on, on the get along gang. <laughs> Family matters. Steve Urkel. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. And yes, we are. There are no stops today. No stops, honey. It's, it, it's, it's past go and go home. That's what that is today. It's cold. It is chilly. It is so chilly, it's not funny. Let me see what uh, the temperature is. Hold on, let me tell y'all. Where's this temperature at? Uh, darn. Okay, it's not coming up for me right now. But it's cold. It is cold, cold, cold. I want to say it's 54 degrees. Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to get this thing to drop down. Okay, yes it is 54 degrees. I was right. Better cut off the camera for me to check that. Ah. It's just gone home, honey. Get on out this chilly willy air. Might mean a sweater and some long sleeve, long johns in the morning, baby. I, I, oh, oh, oh. Honey, I need some warmth. Warmth, warmth, warmth. So. How was you guys day? I know it's the end of the day for me. It might not be the end of the day for you. <laughs> Hopefully that you had a good day. I, I was able to get like a pack and a half done today of um, on everything that I had to check for the items that were destroyed. So I have another pack and a half to go to do. My other co-worker, she finished her stack. And uh, I asked her if she wanted to help with the our other co-worker stack because she's out until next week. She said, yeah, I gave it to her. And that's still going to be the ends of the jelly beans for me on that. But I told her if I finish mine up uh, tomorrow, then I'll come get some of it from her. And uh, that way we can try to have it finished up by Friday, get back to our supervisor and be like, all said and done. Go from there. So uh, we can do that. You know, for me, I, I, I can't tell somebody else checks and balance of what they're doing. I'm going through the whole thing, the whole package. You know, you got some of them that do like they'll check every other one you know, out of a container, like every other envelope. They don't check the whole page, or they'll just check a couple of in the container. Like a uh, few in the beginning, a few at the end. They figure like, okay, well, it's got to be up. Uh, I, don't, I don't do that because it, it's prone to where some things come up missing or didn't get the uh, scanned information. So that's the reason I check each one because I'm trying to make sure we don't have to go back and be like, oh, well, that didn't work. Or we didn't know that one didn't have it. Well, it says it was in this, you know, in this box that was already disposed of. I'm not trying to go through that. Either something's burned or somebody barbecued loud. So, for me, myself, mm -hmm, it's cold. I mean, it is cold. It's like you want to get in your house, you want to find some thick socks. Long sleeve pajamas. <laughs> we like, uh, I need to be warm. It's cold. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And uh, basically, go from there. Go from there. You know, get fans and butts about it. Just sprinkling on top of that. You know, yesterday it was raining. But you should have known that, you know, it's going to be a cool front coming in with it. And sometimes it does. So, yeah. Oh, shucks. But I'm almost finished with Bosch. I am on season six. I think I'm on episode eight. I think it's episode eight. 
so angry. So I'm almost finished with Bosch. Because Amazon only has to episode 8. I mean, not uh, episode 8. Uh, season 6. They don't have anything beyond season 6. So if there was more than 6 seasons of Bosch, if there's a new season, I might have to go try to stream it somewhere else. So. And that's fine. I have no problem with it, you know. I like Bosch. Like I said, while I'm at home lately, I've been watching Sneaky Peek. And of course, you know, um, I, his real name, real name is Joseph something. I forgot what the character's name is, right? And uh, he took on his cellmate's uh, identity because he needed somewhere to go hide out after uh, he got released because the gangsters were looking for him, telling him he still owed a hundred grand uh, to the person that he was trying to scam out of his money, and they ended up taking his brother and um, holding him as collateral and telling him he, he don't pay up by a certain time of that hundred grand, they were going to cut off his toes and then they are going to cut out of his fingers. Well, one of the, uh, the, the main guy that's a gangster was like impatient. And he cut off his, um, had the bodyguard cut off, uh, the Sneaky Pete's, uh, brother's pinky toe to let him know he meant business and he was serious. So, um, Pete is out at his cellmate, his former cellmate, uh, grandparents' farm out there uh, with them pretending to be Pete. And he's supposed to be actually in New York. And Malcolm Jamal Warner plays his parole officer. I was like, whoa, wait. Oh, he looks so smooth and so nice in them suits, honey. Let me tell you. He was looking sharp and debonair, as they say, honey. So, uh, I was like, look at Malcolm. Now, I don't know how old Sneaky Pete's show is and when it came out. Or, and like I said, I just stopped watching it. Y'all know I'm late on shows sometimes. It takes me a minute to catch up on stuff. And I'll be like, well, how this been out? How come I never knew this before? Oh, this is a good show. <laughs> I know y'all be like, you late as hell. Look, mind your business. No, I'm <laughs> But no. I was like, oh, wait, Malcolm looking good, honey. So, uh, I'm talking about Malcolm's mom wanted to play Sneaky Pete's uh, parole officer. Asked him, did he want to be a saint or a shit bird or something like that? Or eagle or a shit bird or something. I forgot what he was, he would ask his parolees. And, um, so he's been trying to catch up with him because he hasn't checked in with his parole officer. Technically, he has it. And so, I'm going to go home and finish watching that, make me something to eat, and finish watching. Because the only thing I had today this morning was uh, my mango, the vegan blueberry muffin, and the Tavana uh, orange cinnamon wellness drink. Uh, orange cinnamon white tea uh, wellness drink. So, that was, it was pretty good. It, it really, and it's unsweetened. So, you know, I'm just going to tell you guys that now. If you come across it and you'd like Tivana, and if you come across the wellness drink, that orange cinnamon was unsweetened. You can taste the hints of the orange um, flavor, but it's very faint. So, um, I'm just going it's, to, it's unsweet. I don't know if you who likes unsweet drinks or not, but I can kind of bear them. So, um, to me, it was good. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably bring the because uh, I only got the last three of the vegan blueberry muffins at Whole Foods yesterday. So, I'm going to bring one uh, the vegan blueberry muffin in the morning, along with probably the watermelon, uh, the Tivana's uh, wellness drink, the watermelon. Because the orange cinnamon was a diffuse, it said. I forgot what the watermelon is, but um, I'm going to bring
bring that with the blueberry muffin in the morning. So that'll be my breakfast. I don't have any more fruit um, at home at the house and I need to go get some more. And I didn't you know, think about it or get it um, about it uh, while I was in the store. I guess mainly because I was like, well, I got that big old mango <laughs> and everything. So I, it didn't like come across my head like, no, no, you might want to get you some, you know, some other fruit. What thing that. So, um, that's what that is. And, um, that'll probably be next week, something like that. Um, that I'll probably go and try to get some more, uh, cucumbers, some more avocados mangoes if they're still out um, and go from there now I really want to like what used to be my favorite favorite and I'm debating if I will or won't um, I guess as long as I don't eat it all the time uh, it's like a little very thin line but you know I'm gonna have to find a granola I really do want a granola um, but I'm going to have to find one that does not have honey in it. You know, some of them have bindings or molasses or it might be honey, uh, you know, or something of that nature. So I have to try to find one. I think good, um, what's, it, what's the name of that brand? It's a, it's a, um, a vegan brand. Good. I want to say good one, a, a good humor. I, I, it's something good, but they're a vegan brand, and I, I need to go look through theirs and see if they have like granola. I'm not looking for the hard granola, crunchy granola uh, bars or anything. I'm, I'm looking more or less, you know, something to snack on. I don't want, you know, be the the crunchy ones or the hard ones. Cause, you know, there's crumbs everywhere. I'm not trying to. You know, push come shove. I guess a wheel, but I, I, I take. I really like the ones that I used to get from Whole Foods. They had the granola, they had the almonds in it, the flax seeds, the uh, oats, and uh, the sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. All of that was in there, and uh, the cherries. That'd be so good. That was that was like my favorite. That was my favorite. And um, but it has honey in it. And, you know, part of the uh, binding because it's like a uh, a soft, moist, sticky granola that's at Whole Foods. And anybody that goes to Whole Foods, if you as soon as you walk through the produce section and go up to the produce section from the door, you see the granola sitting up there. You know, up on top of where the uh, as soon as you walk in, uh, entering into the produce, it's, it's normally right off to the right. Uh, the majority of the time, right? So. Um, that's what I really have a taste for and I really want but I have to find a different granola so wish me luck um, I don't know maybe you guys can comment below like what you like as your snacks like what you have a taste for when you be like well, I got something to snack on I want something a little sweet but I don't want nothing you know I don't want no junk food, but I want something that's a little sweet. So, like, what is it that you will sit up there and get as a, a choice or an item for, like, your snack? If it's fruit, it's fruit. If it's, you know, edamame, whatever, you know. If you like it and you snack on it, don't put it down there. Let me know. Thing I can think of when I get home, I am eating. Uh, I don't know if I'll do another wrap today. I might just do a veggie sandwich today and maybe put some chips on the side and um, have that. That's what I might end up doing um, today for my dinner. I'm just being honest, and I might, yeah, I, I think I think I will do the sandwich, you know, because I'm I'm not 
looking to sit up there and just trying to, um, I need to finish up washing the dishes from last night, getting them washed, unloading the dishwasher and all that stuff, because I did not do it. I left them in the sink. I left the skillet in the sink and the pan. Sure did. Why? Because I can. That's my business. That's my house. I do what I want to do. That's how I get my Bobby Brown on. That's my prerogative. I do what I want to do. Right, Ted? We out of here. <laughs> but, uh, come on, mister. I don't know what you're doing, where you're going. Perhaps you're trying to get on, on, on the toll. I don't really know, but your timing is just straight off, but I am not trying to have meet and greets with people. I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's, it's raining out here, sprinkling. These roads are wet. I ain't trying to slip and slide with nobody. I'm not trying to be trying to get out of my car and get soaked to the bone. I'm not trying to do the meet and greets. And you know this, man. So, that's what um, my plans are. Get snug bug in a rug, comfy, cozy, and warm. And uh, make me something to eat. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is you doing and you still going to go, huh? Well, hurry up and get your ass up. I'm trying not to cuss on here, people. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying to have just a marvelous day. But when you almost sideswipe the front end of my car and I'm honking my horn, but you still continue to get over to force me to slow down, don't do that, people. That is so rude. I actually feel like the Olsen twins right now. From, you know, um, what's the show? As the days go by. Um, family, um, Fam uh, no, no, no. Full house. When she would be like, so rude. That's how I feel right now. Rude ass. Mm -mm. And I don't mean the modern new full house or the whichever full house that they re um, redid and uh, put it out there. I'm talking about the one, you know, from back in the days from the 90s. Full house. Kate and Ashley Olsen were little, 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 little girls. That how rude. That's, that's what that means. I just don't understand. And it's another thing. Uh, look here. Uh, if you value your vehicle, I don't care what you you're making model it is, right? If you value it and that's your vehicle, do me a favor. If you are driving a luxury vehicle, a large SUV, perhaps a pickup truck, perhaps an 18 wheeler, I don't really know. Stop trying to force your way to make someone to stop like you are entitled and you don't have to sit up there you don't insist on a right away. No. I don't know where it is that you learn to drive at. I don't know what uh, driver's um, manual you read in order to get your license. Because insisting on a right away, somebody can knock your block off and the dust off your ass. Okay? Stop playing. Stop playing. something that just that's a peeve for me it's a peeve now if your timing you your timing is is off you know you thought you had it okay some people we've all been there or you didn't see me like some people being you're blind and you don't see them okay did you just do that deliberately i can't stand it. i'm just telling the truth You go somewhere, sit down in an empty stadium in a corner by yourself. I'm so glad I'm almost home. Lord knows I'm, home. I'm glad to be almost home. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to let my spirit <laughs> be up. <laughs> oh, get 
get you not. I'm really trying. Because that just really just, that's, that tick with me. It's ticking with me. So, y'all forgive me. I'm a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. And that's for real. So. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hopefully everybody, like I said, you're having a good day. You're trying to enjoy your day. You're trying to make it home. You're trying to make it to work. You're trying to make it to your destination of, you know, of your choosing. Safe and sound. One piece. No hassle, fuss, trouble, problems, or misunderstandings. Definitely no meet and greets, okay? There's enough stuff going on in this world to where you, you, you just basically just want to get to where you're trying to get to in peace, in one piece. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. For, for real. Watch out. I just seen three cars. The lettuce that's in front of me, the Saturn that was to the right, this Fiat, and I don't know what vehicle, I think it was a Ford on the left side. Please tell me when we come around the corner, all of them trying to get somewhere near the middle. The, the Saturn that's over here right on the line, the lettuce in front of me is between this one and on the line of the outskirt, and um, that Saturn, I, I, I don't know if they were trying to run him down or, what, or he, she, or whoever it may be driving. Only thing I know is, it just looked like somebody was about to just jack each other up, okay? When I say the only thing I'm trying to do is just get home in one piece. I am not playing with y'all. I am not playing with y'all. That means I gotta go to a slow, slow crawl of doing 20, 25, Somewhere up in there, I'll do it. I mean, you know, sometimes some things happen in order to get your attention to make you slow down. And you be like, I'm in a rush to go do this, do that, to get somewhere, or whatever it is. And everything, like you have different things stopping you from getting what you're trying to get done or accomplish, right? And sometimes you think that's in the workings and the makings of, uh, you know, trying to hold you back. Some of those things, honestly, are to keep you from being somewhere you shouldn't at that particular time. Everything happens for a reason, season, and a lifetime. And that's for real. I, I, I believe that for real. I know I look jacked up right now because I had the headphones on on, um, on my head while I was at work, y'all. And, like, when I go to take them off my head, uh, I normally just, you know, pull it this way. And then over. So most of the time, it'll end up pulling my hair down. Look, it is what it is. It's the end of the day. Hey, look, I'm trying to, I'm about to go home. Mm -mm. I told y'all, pretty cute, petite, you know, you know, a uh, uh, southern peach, a uh, southern bell. That's not Kim. That's not. I'm, I'm, went, I'm that when I want to be, but on, on a 24-hour, 24-7 basis, no. No. I'm at work. The, my thing at work is, and I see people who sit at work and they put, you know, their uh, makeup on or they make sure that their hair is nice and all that, and that's their business. I'm not knocking anybody for doing this. You know, how you print room and, you know, present yourself is your business. Me and my head is, I'm not getting dressed up. I'm not getting dolled up. I'm not, you know, doing any of that for four walls on the toilet. That's just me. I'm not putting on makeup for work. Um, I'm, our, our stuff, because most of the time if we're not in the other building or we're um, in the warehouse somewhere, you know, depending on where we're at, uh, if we're not in the office per se, requires basically for us to wear jeans jeans and t-shirt and our you know or your uniform shirt that you're supposed to have that that's what we wear at work when, and nobody's looking you know everybody's uniform is about the same okay it's about the same ain't nobody wearing nothing different the supervisors wear a different color shirt than ours theirs is red ours are blue you know that's depending on where you at 
in what section you might have a different shirt and style but we all we all just there so it's nothing to where for me in my head that I need to be um, cognizant of being on 10 which, or present myself in that manner uh, like I said I'm in an office or I'm in a warehouse or we're in a different building and most of it in the other building or the warehouse you just you, you got nothing but a whole bunch of old stuff and dust so it's, that's just it that's, that's for real so I I lack on that on that scale when it comes to you know appearance I'm not gonna lie about it it's the truth look at me y'all see me on most days right it is what it is I mean what can I say like right now I'm looking at my eyes right here with all the puffiness they didn't know that ain't no, uh, I guess they don't know if that's a turn lane or not but as long as they don't come knock my block off while we turn it we good I have no idea where he's going. Perhaps he's trying to bust a you. I don't know. They trying to do something. I ain't going to help. I'm not too participating in that. Only thing I'm trying to do is turn my corner and go on by my business. As long as they know that that's not a turning lane. Because I don't know where that, where that little old car was going. I, I don't know. Maybe they thought it was a turning lane. I don't know. I don't know where he's going to turn to. Because you sure can't make no left-hand turn. Oh, he busted a U. Woo-wee. Okay. I'm tired of this thing. You know, ever since the update, every time I touch the screen, it cuts off. I'm tired of this update. I really am. First, before, I couldn't sit up and record anything for over a week. And, you know... And then I had to sit up here and get things off of my uh, my phone in order to use the camera. And now every time I touch the screen, I don't care if I'm trying to check like uh, check a text message or whatever it is. It's just straight cutting it off. That's some foolishness now. Samsung, we need to talk. Uh, uh, this ain't cute with your update. Not your latest one. It's not cute. I don't know what you got going on. What you doing? I'm just saying. So. But we're almost to the house, y'all. Almost to the house. In the morning. Ooh, you know what? I probably know I have hot chocolate in my drawer. I have uh, apple cider and hot chocolate in my drawer. So that'll probably be what it'll be in the morning with the blueberry muffin. Because it's cold. I don't know what these people are doing. You got a turning signal on, but you ain't turning. Okay. I did it. Be like Dana Carvey off of uh, SNL back in the day as a church chat lady. We in that special. <laughs> I'm like, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. You know, for those who watch SNL back in the day in the 80s, you know who the church chat lady is. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. Let's get on through this gate. Okay. Uh, somebody was coming from the other way. So, um,. I would go check the mail right now, but it's cold. The only thing I'm gonna do is go in the house. I mean, go in the. Oh no, my my book is supposed to be here today. Okay, we gotta go check the mail. My book is supposed to be here today, and I need. I'm I want to read my book now. I, I remember telling y'all I ordered Lovecraft Country, and I think it's supposed to be here today. Y'all forgive me. Sorry. Today the 28th, y'all. You know I don't keep up with the dates per se. I'm 
one thing I know most of the time is get up and go to work. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That be it. It's the only thing I'll be thinking about. So, let's check the mail and see if my book is there. Or if I have to go to the post office and pick it up if it's too big to put in the box. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Okay. The book was not in the mailbox. So, of course, you know, they got the sales papers. I have to check all this when I get in the house and go from there. Oh, Lord, it's cold, y'all. It's cold. It's cold. I got this vehicle with no jacket on. You know I wasn't thinking right. I wasn't in my right mind. Mm -mm. Let's get on to the house, hon. That's what we're going to do. We, our day is complete. We get her in, get her out, get her done, go home. That's what we're doing. That is the type of day we had today. So that's the reason I'm trying to check. Make sure I ain't on the line. All right, y'all. I made it here to the house. I appreciate y'all commuting with me. And, you know, like I said, hopefully you had a good day. Great day. Awesome day. A beautiful day. It is cold and it's raining outside. It's not coming down too hard right now on my side of town, but downtown it was. Um, I had a nice little, you know, showers going. But um, hopefully you get home safely or to work or your choice of destination, safe and sound in one piece. No hassle, fuss, trouble, problems, or misunderstandings, okay? Um, no meet and greets, y'all. Y'all just, you know, stay safe and sound. Lord willing to say so, I'll see y'all in the a.m., okay? I'll talk to you later.